All, all I, I can say is, is that, that the fake news just doesn't get it, do they? <laughs> they don't. They don't. They're not even acknowledging the biggest story of potentially the century, certainly in political history. Now, they think, they claim, they pretend it's Watergate. Ooh, and Watergate was big. Heck, the country shut down, it seemed like, for almost two years during those hearings. And ever since, by the way, how many books, movies, docu-series, docu-dramas, documentaries. There are people right now still making money off of Watergate, writing about it, analyzing it, just... Watergate is part of history, and it was a big deal. Ultimately, Richard Nixon had to resign. But think of this. The scandal started with a bunch of Democratic operatives trying to bug another group of political operatives in a hotel. In a hotel. Here, we have a situation where the White House may have been surveilled. The White House itself by outside political operatives, loyal, working for Hillary Clinton. This is big, big, big stuff. So why isn't the media talking about it? It was astounding. Yesterday's Sunday, I know Super Bowl Sunday, but they still have those big phony uh, talk shows, right, that they think are so important. Not one word about this. And there was plenty of time to read up on it. It came, became public uh, the day before. This is a big story. They ignored it. Why? When every time Robert Mueller or one of his leakers sneezed, they had a fit. Breaking news in the Russia investigation dominates the program tonight and reaches directly into the president's inner circle. We are covering the breaking news that Bob Mueller, the special counsel investigating ties between Donald Trump's campaign and Russia. We've got breaking news on MSNBC, the first indictment in the Robert Mueller investigation. We have breaking news about special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into possible Russian meddling in the 2016 election. Let's begin with the breaking news on the Russia investigation. Much more on our breaking news of federal grand jury approving the first charges in the Mueller investigation. It was like that every single day for a year, year and a half. I mean, over the top, all the time. And it was nothing. It was absolutely nothing. This, the president actually being surveilled while he was president, that's a big deal. That's worthy of coverage. Now, why aren't they talking about it? Because Donald Trump is an enemy of the swamp. The swamp, the media, I do believe, enemy of the people. He's an enemy of the swamp. They'll never forgive him. They'll never let him off the hook. They'll never give him the benefit of the doubt. They'll never give him a break. In part, this was the best and worst thing he ever said on Inauguration Day. It signaled, signaled to the people that he was with them. It signaled to the swamp that he must be stopped. For too long, a small group in our nation's capital has reaped the rewards of government while the people have borne the cost. Washington flourished, but the people did not share in its wealth. This is why we love him. This is why they hate him. So we got this huge scandal on our hands. What do they do? They stick to their script, okay? He's the threat. He was the one working with Russia. No way could this be true. Let's ignore it, let's ignore it. But I do think that some of them felt a little self-conscious about this, all right? And uh, so I noticed one of them, fake Jake Tapper, was a little bit tough with Biden yesterday, all right? He ignores the real story, but oh, I'm gonna get tough on Biden but it made me think about a lot of other things. Here's that little portion where he's, uh, he's giving Biden a hard time about his leadership during the debacle in Afghanistan and since. He loads Knoss into the bed of a truck. He clears his weapon and tucks it beside his teammate and the truck drives away. You do so much and your families give so much. I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. And so I just, we came because we wanted to thank you, tell you how much we care. I don't doubt President Biden cares, but I do not understand why he would not manifest that care into taking this investigation more seriously. Okay, absorbing all right. Absorbing the tragic details. He really believes that Biden cares, but what the care needs to manifest itself. I don't think Biden cares actually about much other than himself, Hunter, Jill maybe. 
uh, there's something wrong with this guy, and he does not respect the troops. Now, here's proof of that. If you respect someone, would you ever, ever think of talking to them like this, as he did in public? Watch. I can only assume that you will enjoy educating your family about how the Coast Guard is, quote, the hard nucleus around the Navy forms in times of war. You are a, you're a really dull class. I have incredibly good judgment. One, I married Jill. And two, I appointed Johnson to the Academy. I just want you to know that. Just clap for that, you stupid bastards. Catch that? Clap for that, you stupid bastards. I don't understand why the media would protect this man, cover for him what they see in him. I have no idea. I don't get it. I can't figure it out, actually. But I do know their allegiance to this man, who I believe is corrupt, has made us, made the world less safe. You know, it looks like Vladimir Putin will be invading Ukraine, they say on Wednesday. It could happen on Wednesday. This would not be happening if it weren't for Joe Biden's colossally weak leadership, colossally weak. He's terrible. Everybody knows that, especially after Afghanistan. I mean, after that, America, we're not what we were. You know, everybody knows that that would not have happened under Trump and Ukraine would be safe if he were still in office. This would not be happening if he were still on the scene. Putin is taking advantage of Biden big time.